This is an entry one of functions cost mass paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Activity one, opening the shop. Evie works in a shop. Evie opens the shop at seven o'clock. Which clock shows seven o'clock? Tick your answer. So looking at option A, focusing on the shorthand because that tells us the hours. So this is three o'clock. B is five o'clock. C is seven o'clock. D is 10 o'clock. So the correct option is option C. Evie checks the post. She got nine letters on Friday. She got 13 letters on Monday. How many more letters did Evie get on Monday than she got on Friday? So starting from nine, then we're going to go to 10, 11, 12, 13. So she's got one, two, three, four more letters. Do this as 13 take away 9. Again, it's going to give you an answer of 4. It doesn't matter what method you use as long as you get the correct answer here. Evie puts these bags of crisps on the counter. So we've got these bags of crisps. She thinks she put more than 14 bags of crisps on the counter. Is Evie correct? Give a reason for your answer. So we're going to count these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of them. So it is fifteen. So Evie thinks that she put more than 14 bags and she is correct because 15 is more than 14. So is Evie correct? You're going to say yes, it's 15 bags of crisps if you want to add or you could leave bags out completely. Just say that it's 15. Yes, it's 15. Evie has these chocolate bars. Which chocolate bar is the biggest? Tick your answer. So we've got these four chocolate bars and I can see that this is the biggest of them all. So option B. This is the end of the first part. This is now the second part of the paper. You can use a calculator from now on. Activity 2, stacking shelves. Evie puts some items on shelves. Evie takes some shampoo bottles out of a box. This is the shape of the box. What is the name of this 3D shape? So the shape has equal sides. It looks like an ice cube. The name of the shape is cube. Evie puts the shampoo on a shelf. Where does she put the shampoo? Tick your answer. So we've got the shampoo here. First option, under the hand wash. There we have the hand wash. Is it under the hand wash? No, it's not. To the left of the wipes. So there we have the wipes. Is it to the left? No, it's not to the right of the soap. So there we have soap, to the right of the soap. No, it's not. Above the soap. Yes, that's right. It's above the soap. So option D is the correct one. Evie is sorting these tins. She puts the tins of soup on a shelf. Tick the tins she put on the shelf. So we're looking for soup, there's beans, beans, then soup, then soup, beans, soup, soup. Then we have soup, soup, beans, 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 soup, beans, soup, 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 
beans, beans, beans. And we've took all of the soup ones. There are seven bottles on a shelf. Evie puts 13 more bottles on the shelf. She works out the total number of bottles on the shelf. Put the missing symbol in the box. So we've got 7 plus 13 equals 20. Evie keeps a tally of items on the bakery shelf. There are eight rolls on the shelf. Complete the tally chart. So we've got roll eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Evie checks the dates on a tin of beans, which says best before, first of the seventh. 2021. What is the name of the seventh month in a year? So if you know this by heart, you know it's going to be July. If you don't, you can start counting. So January is the first, February is the second, March is the third, April is the fourth, May is the fifth, June is the sixth, and July is the seventh. So we're going to put down July. Activity three, deliveries. Evie sorts out the deliveries. Evie gets a delivery on Thursday. The last delivery was three days before Thursday. On what day was the last delivery? It might be helpful to start with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So going backwards, so starting from Thursday, one day backwards goes to Wednesday, two, three days. So that would be Monday. The delivery arrives at the shop at nine o'clock in the morning. Which clock shows nine o'clock? So looking at A, that is nine o'clock. B is eleven o'clock. C is 7 o'clock, D is 4 o'clock. So option A is the correct one. Evie puts these boxes away. Each box has a number. She starts with a box with the largest number. Write the box numbers in the order that Evie puts them away. So the largest number out of 11, 17, 9 and 12, that is 17. After that, it's going to be 12, then 11, then 9. If you find this confusing, you could write the numbers out, starting with the smallest, and then circle all the numbers that you can see. Going backwards, you can find the numbers that are largest and then smaller and smaller. These bottles of washing up liquid were in the delivery. Which bottle can hold the most washing liquid? Take your answer. So the biggest bottle of them all looking at them is D. Evie puts some bottles of water on a shelf. She puts the tallest bottle at the back of the shelf. Which bottle does Evie put at the back of the shelf? So the tallest, that is this one, which is option C. The rest of them are shorter. Activity four, customers. Paul goes into the shop. Paul wants to buy some headphones. He has 16 pounds. Which headphones can Paul buy? 
So looking at headphones, we've got white headphones and black headphones. White headphones cost £19, which is more than £16. Black headphones cost £16. So that's the one. That's the ones that Paul can buy. So we're going to say black headphones. Paul buys a cake and a magazine. The cake costs £8, the magazine costs £5. How much does Paul pay in total? So we're looking at 8 add 5. Now using a calculator, you can do 8 plus 5 equals 13 is the answer. 13 pounds. So we need to add the unit because it could be pence as well. Paul uses this note to pay. What value does this note show? So this is 20 pounds. Evie asks some customers if they are happy with the shop. 14 customers say they are happy. Three customers say they are not happy. Complete the block chart to show this. Right, so we've got happy. It was 14 of them that are happy. So we're going to go up to 14. On paper, you can use a ruler to to draw this line, and it's going to be much easier. And not happy. How many of them? It was three customers. So we're going to go one, two, three. And this is the end of the paper.